How can you run both ACs in your camper when you only have 30 amp? We have the answer. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. Well, you will not be living amazing if you're camping in the summer and you are just sweating and hot because your camper is not able to keep up with the air conditioning. Yeah, these things are not well insulated and get really hot in the summer months. So the conundrum for a lot of campers is, you know, they want to have 50 amp hookups so they can run both air conditioners. Most campgrounds have few 50 amp or 30 amp runs mm -hmm. the show. Yeah, yeah. You, sometimes it's hard to find a 50 amp site. And... Or you pay extra for 50 amp. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So talk about so we when we were at Menifee. This beautiful Class A was coming through and, and there was a, a waterfront site with, right next to us. We were in one, but it was only a 30 amp site. They moved on and, and found a site not on the water. But and that was kind of a bummer because they pulled in and you could tell they really loved that waterfront site. But they actually chose just kind of a not as good area just so they could get that 50 amp. Yep. There's a product out there that allows you to run both air conditioners hooked into 30 amp. And it is a game changer. It will, of course, allow you to camp anywhere you've got 30 amp. The product is called Soft Start. And it also works if you're mooch docking or driveway docking. You can actually run an air conditioner in a driveway hooked up to their household. That is a game changer for sure um, because we know a lot of people that have added 30 amps to their house so that they could have someone stay in their driveway with their camper or use their own camper in the driveway. No yeah. more. And this also means that if you have a small generator, a 2000 watt uh, portable generator, you can run one AC off of that generator. So wow. it, it's, it's uh, like Liz <laughs> says, it's a, it's a game changer. So this is one of those things that, that we're all faced with that, to buy or not buy with our campers. And I've known about Soft Start pretty much since I started RVing, but uh, up until now I had never installed one. I'm sorry, the only thing I'm, I'm sorry about is that I didn't do it sooner. It mm -hmm. makes a huge difference inside. It just is so... It's quieter. It's we didn't so think much it, quieter. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't count on that. We just were thinking about the 30, 50. Yeah, after. exactly. When it kicks on and off in the camper now, it, it is much less sound and feel. You know, it, I'm sure when you turn your AC on, you know, you know when that thing kicks on because it kind of shakes it's the It's like whole a thing. hard start and a hard turn off. It's yeah. like a bam, turn on, bam, turn yeah. off. And this is a softer, not only turning on, but softer turning off. Yeah. Which, which we really like because yeah. we also have a heat pump in our air conditioner and when that kicks off, you know, it's, it's yeah. a lot quieter. Yeah. But now when we go to pick a campsite, we don't have to be focused on 50 amp in the summer. We can do the 30 amps and it gives us a lot more of the campground available. You put it between the start capacitor and the compressor and it absorbs the inrush of current that it takes to start the compressor up. And that's where the problem lies is, is it's not so much running the compressor, it's starting the compressor. And pretty much anyone can install it if you're used to connecting wires. Now, I'm not used to hooking wires up, but if you're used to connecting wires and using those little things that you use. Yeah, the, the uh, male-female spade connectors, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's really easy. Well, yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean, they're, they're, they have, um, on their website, they have instructions for pretty much every AC that you're going to find in a, in a camper. And if you just follow the step-by-step -step instructions, it's, it's pretty simple. And Soft Start has phone support, so they'll actually walk you through it. So in our case, they said it would take an hour to do the install. We were not in a rush. In fact, you know, we had to get down from the roof a couple times and get yeah. some extra tools. Right. We're going to list all the tools that we used, but we took 30 minutes. Yeah. So what tools are needed for this job? A wire crimper, a wire stripper. I used an impact to get the screws out. Uh, you could do that with a regular Phillips head screwdriver. And then you used a flat head to kind of pry the cover off. Yeah, the cover is actually the cover is almost the hardest part of the job. Getting it off and getting it on give you an idea how easy this is. I mean, it's uh, it's really 
quite simple. It's super easy to so talk about the generator test and what you did with that. We have a, a portable generator that has a display on it that shows what how much current is flowing and I did a test pre-installation of the soft start. Basically what's running is the uh, converter and the refrigerator. And the spike was, I think I saw it flash by at like 45 amp. Um, Which would have blown a 30 amp. Yeah, potentially could have kicked a breaker. And that was just one air conditioner. And that was one, yeah. And then we did it after the soft start installation. And I think the highest I saw was, was 17 or maybe it might have hit 18 at one point just right. for a microsecond. So it cut it more than half. Yeah. So you'll need one for each air conditioner. Yeah, if you have three ACs, you're not going to run three ACs on 30 amps. To that point, let me let me discuss, I don't want to get into the weeds too much with, with uh, loads, and that's pretty much what you call any electrical device. Anything you plug in is a load. You'd still have to be aware of the loads that you're running. If you're running two ACs at once, you're probably not going to be able to use the, the microwave at the same or time. Or your dryer. Or, yeah, or if you have a dryer. Or you're also going to want to make sure your your electric water heater is turned off because those are all large loads and and this is something if you're thinking about this life and you're still in sticks and bricks something that you hardly probably never, <laughs> never even give a about. thought to is 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 what you know what a particular load pulls for amperage um, but you think about it all the time here. If you don't, it will it will let you know because you'll be in the middle of cooking breakfast and you'll trip a, a breaker. Yep. Or, you know, how many times, you know, since you came aboard, it's like, oh, I, I ran the blow dryer, but we still have the fireplace on, our electric fireplace, yeah. and can't or, have them both on. Or I was doing something with the microwave <laughs> or, or, the, or the electric water heater was on. It really teaches you to be more aware. Right now, you can buy a soft start for $2.99, and that's $30 off the regular price. And we have a special link for you. You will not find it cheaper than the link that we have. And by using our link, you support our channel. Yeah, and if you already have a soft start, let us know in the comments uh, section what you think of it. So Paul is sleeping. Should I wake him up the soft start way or the other way? Yeah!